Hello beautiful people, I hope you're having an amazing day. You are a star, don't let anybody dim your light. Fellas, today we've got some things to talk about. We're gonna talk about why she prefers the asshole over the nice guy. We're gonna break down some of the psychology around that. Okay, why is it that women pursue the asshole? The guy is a bit of a dick, right? Versus someone who is nice and sweet and to see all the time, right? Why do women prefer, prefer this? Let's fucking talk about it. Before we do, make sure you add us on the socials, okay? Daniel John Allen at Instagram and Snapchat. And you can also add us on the TikTok, Daniel J Allen. And for more juicy content like this, check out officialdanielallen.com, uh, onlyfans.com slash officialdanielallen. Now, let's get right into it. Why do women prefer, why do most women prefer the asshole, right? The, the bit of an arrogant, comes across a very cocky, overly confident guy right well from my experience from what i've seen okay when a man comes across as the asshole right usually this is a sign of a man's own reflection what they envy in that person right so when you see someone who's getting all the girls because well he seems like a bit of a dick well what he really is portraying is a certain level of confidence right without being overboard cocky right and bit of a prick constantly right women prefer men who are confident in themselves right it's not so much the asshole it's the person who's been able to voice their opinions and thoughts right without being afraid of hurting the other person without being afraid okay of stepping on anyone's toes right without being afraid of walking on eggshells right because you got to see guys when danger comes right when danger comes right Women are gonna choose the guy who has the most confidence, right? And who's not afraid of the unknown, right? You gotta see, that's just the wiring of women. Women prefer men who can fucking speak up, who go for it, right? Who believe in themselves, right? Before the, who prioritize their own needs over, over someone like a very nice, sweet, sincere, you know, guy who, who empathizes a lot, right? Because they're constantly putting the woman first, right? They're overly, empathizing though they're, they're constantly putting him on a pedestal right you gotta see this turns women off big time right if you want to check out more in-depth video about that check out my youtube channel and check out previous videos right it turns women off right because you get too sensitive you get too emotional right and this is a really turn off for for women right women love guys who are strong women love guys who are pursuing their own Journey, pursuing their own purpose, right? And yes, sometimes there's a fine line when you take it too far, right? And you know, you push the lady away because you're just being an asshole, a dickhead all the fucking time. No, women don't want that. Women don't want a guy who's always being a fucking arrogant prick, right? They want someone who's also sincere, who's also sensitive, who's also emotional and can empathize, all right? But also not take things too seriously, right? That's what women love. Women love a man who can around right not get so caught up with um being so sensitive all the time it's okay to be sensitive it's okay to be emotional it's okay to have a cry there's nothing there's nothing wrong with that right there's nothing wrong with that but at the end of the day a woman is gonna ultimately desire a man who is dominant right a man who is assertive a man who leads Right? If you're someone who is a bit more submissive, a bit more passive, right? You're too afraid, you're very caved in, you're not too sure on yourself, right? And you're always constantly falling in love, you're getting caught up in uh, relationships very quickly, or you know, you always wanna do things for them all the time, right? Because you're afraid you might lose them. Well, guess what? You've already lost them. If you have that fear that you're gonna lose them, you're gonna lose them, right? The guys who are pulling the women, right? The guys who are attracting more women are the ones that have no attachment, right? They don't care if they're gonna be around or not because they got their own thing happening, right? And yeah, these things, right? When guys shit test women, right? This is a thing, which is what we do. Check out my previous videos on why women shit test, right? Guys do it as well. We do it as a tribe to see who's the weakest link, right? We do it to see who is 
worthy of going into the woods, going to, to hunt and gather for our tribe, we do it, okay, to see how sensitive a woman can be, right? If she's overly sensitive, okay, we'll take it a step back, take it a notch back, we calm it down a bit, we don't push it too far, but it's ultimately just to break the, the seriousness of things, right? Of course, again, you know, women don't want a man who's overly controlling, who's overly dominant, who's overly masculine, right? Always thinking logically, right? Who doesn't know how to be sensitive and empathize. No, women don't want that. They don't want none of that. They want a man, right? Who, okay, who can, who sees them, right? Who sees them, who, who, who can talk dirty to them. Women love dirty talk as well. Don't be afraid to talk dirty to women. Women just think about sex as much as we do, right? Women think about sex as much as we do, right? Don't be afraid. If you want to flirt, think, of course, be respectful. Be fucking respectful, right? Don't think, don't, don't, think, don't take things too far. You gotta know your boundaries. You gotta know their boundaries, right? And once you understand this, you can have a beautiful little dance, okay, with this woman that you desire, right? And you gotta really focus on not trying to get them, right? Get yourself, <laughs> get yourself together. Focus on your own needs. She will come around when she sees you pursuing your things, right? When she sees that you can take a fucking joke, that you can have a laugh and not take things too seriously, she'll love that. I should be like, whoa, okay, you're a fucking hard, strong man, right? You can fucking take a pinch or two, right? Women do this all the time, unconsciously. They'll shit test you, right? Guys will shit test women. And we wanna see who's the one who's strong enough to hold their own strength and not react to every fucking thing around them, right? Yes, the world's a chaotic place. Yes, the world's a chaotic place, right? Hear that beautiful bird there? They're chilling, they're all right. I've got to just calm the fuck down a bit and realize, you know what? If they don't want me, let's move on. Focus on myself, I'm gonna prioritize myself. Fellas, ladies, am I right? Am I right? Let me know, leave a comment down below. Is this the reason why women love assholes, right? The prick, right? Because they're not always giving that validation. That's the other thing as well, right? Those men, they're not always giving the validation to women, right? Of course, every now and then it's like, yes, I'll give you that approval, I'll give you that, I'll give you that validation, right? But guys who are constantly giving that away to them, it loses the essence of that chase. Yes, men should pursue women, women should pursue men, but when the man is constantly pursuing, it just shows that you don't have, you don't have anything better to do with your own time, right? You don't have anything better to do than focus on women. What does that mean? Where's that, where's your value in all of that, right? So. Stop trying to validate women all the time. You don't have to compliment women all the time. Yes, they love a compliment. Yes, we all love a compliment. But stop overly showering them, right? You, this, you, this gives away too much of your power to them. And when you give too much of their power to them, this gives them control over you. And when they can see that you're easy to control and easy to manipulate, there's no fun in that. They just, they just play with your strings and treat you like a puppet, right? No one wants to be treated like a puppet own yourself own who the fuck you are and you, if you're still struggling with that fellas my brothers apply for my coaching services at danieljohnallen.com okay i've got the ignite the warrior within program which helps you to embody more masculine energy okay so you can balance out that feminine with the masculine energy right you got to stay strong and stay true in your own power right if you've got any questions dm us at Daniel John Allen and snapchat okay on instagram social media Check out the funny content at Daniel J. Allen. And for more relationship advice, check out onlyfans.com slash official Daniel Allen. I appreciate you. Ladies, what do you think? What do you reckon that girls love that turns but that turns the women on about you know the asshole, right? The guy is very fucking he's full of himself, right? Who wants to who wants to be around a guy who's full of himself? Well, you know what? He doesn't care if anyone's thinks he's full of himself or not. Yes, boost your ego a bit, but not to the point where you let the ego drive, take the driving seat, right? You gotta realize who you fuck, humble yourself, humble your ego every now and then, right? But blow yourself up, back yourself up. You're allowed to be a fucking confident person, right? You're allowed to dress like a fucking man, right? You're allowed to show up, okay, with so much confidence, but don't, of course, don't let it get to your head. That's the key here. You gotta humble your ego when it starts to override your life, okay? I appreciate you, much love, stay woke, blessed and out. They work, blessed and alkalized. Peace out. Going away very sh soon. Going to share lots of amazing lifestyle vlogging. Check it out. Stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the notification button if you want to see more dating advice like this. Okay. 
and let me know down below what do you think what really turns women off okay ladies let us know let the fellas know i appreciate you see you in the next video peace out